Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to sell um, some product that is uh, priced well today. Uh, so that is going to be cake, butter, and cheese. Uh, all of that's high in September. It is September 3rd to 2, by the way. Uh, I have done my third hay cutting and did a whole bunch of chores around the farm, including filling the greenhouses back up filling the cow barn up, you know, just doing the usual stuff. And uh, so, yeah, we'll start this episode off uh, by selling those things, and then we'll move on into October and uh, see what's in store for us there. Uh, so let's see. I think we're going to want to be in our pickup truck, and we'll go get the gooseneck and load up that product for sale. Hope everybody's doing well. I... Uh, I'm kind of on the tail end now of, a, of being really sick, actually, with a, a cold or flu. It wasn't stomach flu, but, yeah, I, I was uh, not doing too good for about a week and a half there. With uh, It wasn't COVID because I got tested twice, and both times it came back negative. At least I don't think it was. But, um, yeah, it was a bit of a rough time. Um, also, I've been... I've been uh, working or, or doing a, a series on Icarus... And um, I've still been, you know, playing Farming Simulator, but I just have a lot of off-camera stuff to do. I mean, you know, I still spend several hours a week on this game, even though you guys haven't seen as many videos lately, just kind of doing the off-camera stuff. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but it's very difficult for me. Um, I, well, okay, let me rephrase it. It's, it's challenging to do a YouTube series in this game from the standpoint that especially when your farm gets as big as mine is now that you know you, you you can't keep doing the same thing over and over and keep showing that as an episode because I mean it sooner or later uh, even though there are a few of you that probably don't mind seeing the same thing over and over again mo the majority of the audience isn't going to want to do that you know so it just makes it challenging to come up I guess with frequent episodes where we're not doing the same exact thing over and over again so you know like doing the hay cutting and all that sort of thing so that's that's why you know the episodes are fewer and far further between now but you know when we start our our new series um, then you know then they'll they'll come a lot more frequently than they are at present so I'm just mostly saying that to reassure anybody that might be concerned that I'm, you know, I'm not stopping uh, farming simulator, not at all. I love this game, um, but things are just kind of in a, a little bit of a slow mode until we can, you know, get into the to the new season. Um, and our, you know, our, our major final goal for this season is to is to, um, you know, get the cereal factory going, and then you know realize some profits from that before we before we you know completely wrap things up so anyway um let's go ahead and do our cake sales first uh so if we look at here and we go to here september september and january are pretty even with one another 1947 is the high price and it looks like 1965 no uh 1970 yeah, right there. That That's the best price at Mama Joe's fast food restaurant. So that is where we're going to sell all this cake and make ourselves a little bit of money. Nice. Seems like it's been a long time since I've sold any cake, too. Maybe it has. I don't know if we missed the price last time or what. I hope this cake is uh, has a long shelf life. That's all I got to say. <laughs> um, all right. Is that it? Let's see here cake yep that's it okay so we'll change the cake back to um story and let's go get this sold at mama joe's first and then we'll come back and get the the dairy products for sale selling forty three thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars all right not bad I let my my Fent tractor not not my my new real big one, but the normal one that we use, uh, get down a fair amount, and you know before I repaired it, it cost me seventeen thousand dollars to repair that sucker. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, 
That's expensive, man. That is expensive. Okay, so let's park here. And then the next thing we want to do is, let's look at this again. So butter and cheese are uh, high now in September. So let's do butter next. And it looks like, here, what is the high price on butter? $990. Okay, so nine. Oh, wow. MJ's Mini Mart is selling uh, or, or uh, over $1,000. That's what I'm trying to say. Work mouth. <laughs> uh, this is my better key, so that one doesn't count. So this one, yeah, this is going to go to OG's Mini Mart or MJ's Mini Mart. Sorry. It's getting close here. And we want to go to butter and we want to change the output mode to spawning. All right, so we'll wait for that to spawn and then we'll load it up and take it over to MJ's Mini Mart. Fifteen thousand for the first load. All right, that kind of <coughs> excuse me got all mixed up. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much more we made. Um, it wasn't quite a full load, so I'm gonna say probably around another 10 grand ish so we can just say we made about twenty five thousand dollars off of our butter uh why are you continuing to show that too that's kind of glitched out okay lovely all right so that takes care of the butter and now we'll do the cheese if that doesn't go away i might have to restart the computer Let's see. There it goes. All right, so cheese. We'll set that output mode. Whoops. Uh, to spawning. If I'd quit clicking like a crazy man. Hmm. Well, it's still loading, but it's also not getting rid of the error message. So I'll probably have to re reboot here. <clears throat> That's it. Oh, it's not letting me strap it. Can I strap it manually? Yeah, I can strap it manually. Or, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, it's all screwed up. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to go back in here, open production menu, uh, cheese, and set that back to... I think this is just storing because we don't use cheese in any other products. Uh, definitely use butter. Okay, so that takes care of that. Yeah, it's all bugged out. Okay, well, let's see who is given the best price on cheese. Um, so 1947 was the high price last time. 1971. Looks like Mama Joe's fast food restaurant, once again, is the place to go. Since these aren't technically strapped down, though, I'm going to have to go nice and easy so they don't fall off. Mama Joe must be doing another toasted cheese sandwich special at the, at the diner there. That kind of sounds good. Sometimes my wife will make toasted cheese sandwiches and tomato bisque soup. Very good. I love it. It's good stuff. Yeah, these guys are shifting a little bit, but it won't let me strap because it's kind of in this buggy, bugged out mode. So hopefully we can get them over there. Sometimes it doesn't matter how careful I'm driving, they just get all glitchy anyway. But we'll drive careful nonetheless. We don't want to encourage it. Nineteen thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars. All right, so we've made 65, 75, 85. We've made about $90,000-ish off of our dairy products. That's not too bad. 
Okay, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else that we can sell uh, in September. I've already looked, but let's just double check. Sugar. Oh, we could actually sell some sugar. It's actually at an all-time high. Um, I think we also sold a bunch of sugar in June, though, too, but 523 is the high right there. Mama Joe's paying 526. Mama Joe's Bistro is paying 527. Uh, how much sugar do I have in storage? Let's take a look. And we've have, we have 27,000 liters in storage right at the moment. And our bakery should be chocked full. Yeah, why not? Let's go let's go sell a little bit of sugar too. I am going to actually restart uh, the game though to get rid of that error. Um, don't know. Unless, I wonder if I disconnect from the trailer if that'll do it. Let's get back into position first. Actually, you know what? Um, well, here, let's try the disconnect thing first. Yeah, no, it's not going to go away. Um, I don't actually want to restart yet, though, because sometimes if you restart, it changes the prices when you log back in. So let's get the sugar sold first. And then we'll log out. So hopefully that error message isn't bothering you guys too, too terribly much. Sugar, change output mode to spawning. Okay, so um, I think, what are we on? Uh, MJ's Bistro, I think. Let's look at it again. Sugar, MJ's Bistro is 527. Yeah, okay. I'll meet you guys over there when we have a load. Oh, we're losing some of it. All right, Going a little too fast. Don't let me pick that up. There we go. As soon as I lift the pallet over the trailer, I, my guy drops it. I can't control that. Okay. Let's go really, really slow. All right, 7,900 bucks from... Uh, the first load. I think on this one we're gonna stay in the parking lot where it's a little smoother. Oh no! <laughs> I just drove into the trigger where it reloaded it back in. That's all right. We'll just leave that pallet there. It's not gonna make that much difference. Yeah, look at them shift. Even on flat level ground, they just do not like it. All right, well, let's get as many over there as we can. Another 5,000 from that. And $527 for that. Okay. I believe that concludes our product sales for September. I'm just going to throw this uh, back in the warehouse, but we actually need to set it back to distributing first. Or I do that, or it'll just pop right back out again. Like that. Go to sugar. Set to distributing. 
it sends it to the bakery and then once the bakery's full which it always is then it just stars it very good all right guys i'm gonna um well here let's do this let's take a quick look at our finances and then i'm gonna uh, restart the game and then meet you guys in october uh, but in September, let's see, looks like we bought something new in September. I don't honestly remember what it was. 28, oh, I think we got another um, forage wagon. I believe that's what that is for. Uh, look, like apparently I did a little tiny bit of landscaping somewhere. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, vehicle running cost, $26,000. 17000 of that was repairing that doggone fence. Man, it was expensive. Uh, we leased, uh, this is just our lease to own cost there. Property maintenance is the usual production costs. Uh, we sold thirty, almost thirty thousand dollars worth of milk. We sold uh, up to this point in September. We still, you know, have the rest of the day, but we've sold one hundred seventy-eight thousand two hundred thirty-five dollars in product. Roughly a thousand, a uh, hundred thousand of that was from our dairy product. Um, we spent thirteen hundred dollars and sixty-three in fuel. Water cost seven hundred. Uh, we got fifty-eight thousand from the biogas plant. Paid workers, 8600 I don't remember what that miscellaneous is for. And uh, paid $7,100 out to two workers for pallet distribution. Okay, guys, I will see you in October. All right, guys, I'm back. It is a still September. Um, by the way, that's what's in the sales. Nothing we want right now. It'd be kind of a nice claw tractor. Um, I've changed my mind on what's going to happen here. Um, I took a look at the crop calendar. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to, wanted to do. I took a look at the crop calendar, and what's going to happen here is... Okay, the first thing I want to show you is that Field 70 has um, a crop of barley on it. All right, so, that, so that's been planted by the computer farmer. And I'm going to purchase this, but I'm not going to purchase it until the month before we harvest barley, which is going to be in May. So we will buy it in May. And what that will do, of course, is that'll give us a chance to, to save our money up to buy it. And plus, you know, with our January uh, sales, we should be able to pay cash for it and, and then some. Um, it is very expensive. I think it's the largest field on this map. Um, coming in at a whopping $772,000. It's so expensive. But um, because it's got a barley crop on it, and, you know, we, we plant either wheat or barley every year for both our grain mill and our chickens, it's uh, th this would be a, a, a good time for us to buy this field. Um, well, when I say good time, I mean, you know, next May. Okay. So what that means then is that changes the plan for our three existing fields. So right now, um, 56, 57, and 68. I don't know why they're still showing the crop on there because uh, we've already harvested them. I wasn't going to flip these over to grass, but it kind of makes sense for me to do that now um, only because... If I don't do that, um, they're just going to sit there and not be earning us any money whatsoever until April or May when we can put oats and corn on them, which is what I'm, I'd like to do. So we, so I have two choices. I could either replant wheat or barley on those fields, um, or I could plant hay. And if I plant hay before September's over, I think I can get a hay cutting off of it in November. So that would get us a, a hay cutting off of the fields in November and it would get us another hay cutting off of them in April, March or no, in March actually. So we'd get two hay cuttings off those fields before I flip them back over to, to corn and oats. And I wouldn't even need to do, to do barley at that point because you know, the big field would already have barley on it for us for that the farmer planted. It's going to be a lot of work, but that that's what is what makes the most financial sense because two hay cuttings off those fields is going to bring us way more money in than, you know, replanting wheat or barley on them uh, for just the one harvest. So um, that does change our plans. And but I, again, I think that is what makes the most sense. 
So, um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump in our planters. I'll get two, <clears throat> excuse me, two tractors going. Uh, and this will give us a chance to use our, our new big tractor for the first time, too, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get, uh, let's get this flatbed and the pickup put away first. And then we'll get set up to start planting hay on those fields. The other nice thing about, you know, planting hay, or more specifically grass, is we don't have to spray for weeds then either, because weeds don't happen in grass fields. Well, at least not in this game. <laughs> I imagine they do in real life to some extent usually though in most cases the grass is going to be so dense that the weeds aren't going to ha get a major foothold that's usually the way it works with hay fields all right cool so let's hop into our our big boy here this will be our first time using this tractor listen to that engine <laughs> that's awesome okay Uh, we didn't, if you didn't catch the episode where I bought this, which I guess was the last episode, um, it was about three years old when we bought it, but we got a really good deal on it. And I don't mind it being a little bit older just because it's not so, uh, an everyday tractor. It's really, we're only, really only going to use it when we pull these really big implements like these cedars. Uh, but now we have it. This sucker has almost 700 horsepower. It does handle a little bit differently because it's tracked. I think what we want to do here, oh, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we change the seed to grass. Don't want to forget that. Okay. This already has quite a bit of fertilizer and seed in it from the last time we used it, but let's get it topped off because we're going to send this tractor all the way over to 68, our, our really big field. And then we'll have the other fent work on the two smaller fields. So getting into the seed bin on this is kind of tricky. You have to hit it, get it right in the right spot. Um, oh, actually, here let's do the let's do the fertilizer first. Okay, fertilizer's full. One thing I did discover about this cedar is you can't use it without fertilizer in it. I tried it once, and it doesn't let me. All right, is that good there? Yep, there we go. Look at that. We got it the first time. How about that? Yeah, this this tractor being a tracked vehicle, man, it turns on a dime. <laughs> Okay, let's head on down to field 68 and get this guy started. How did my seed change back to corn? What the heck, man? That was weird. I'm glad I, I saw that. Goodness. Now it's on grass. Okay, we should have a course play set up uh, for this. Let's... um. get to there and bring course play up we want to go to here and field 68 and we're looking for star of cedar there we go we want to load that and let's just look at the pathway to make sure it looks correct yeah that looks right starting points right there so we should be able to just start at first waypoint and let it go. Actually, I want to stay in the tractor for the first little bit here. Look at this thing, man. It's so nice inside. Get that thing unfolded. Wow. 
Wow. 11 miles per hour. <laughs> it's not wasting any time, is it? Super cool. All right, we can turn these off. Love this tractor, man. I'm glad we got it. Okay, so this should show grass, and it has one application of fertilizer on it. Second application, we will put digestate on it. Very cool. All right, let's go back to the farm and get uh, the next, uh, the other uh, Fent tractor set up. And we'll get started planting on the other fields as well. We're going to need to put our dualies back on. I take them off when I do the hay so they, this tractor can fit into the load area of the silos. Doesn't cost us anything, though. Customize wheel setup twin wheels. Okay. We might need to come at this from this side. Uh-oh. Another guy's being blocked by an object. I'm gonna have to go see what's going on with that. How is this being blocked by an object? I don't understand. Did it like turn too sharp and get bound up or something? That little corner there. Oh yeah, look at that. It gets it gets bound up. Oh, that's the problem. Is it gonna do that on every corner? Well it didn't do it on well that's that's a more gradual corner though. Oh no. I do not like that. Well, here, let's just, um, do nearest waypoint. Let's turn it loose again. Let's see what it does on this corner up here. That might mean we have we have to run that tractor ourselves, which I don't really want to do all the time. I don't mind doing it once in a while, but I want my workers to be able to do it too, you know, so I can do other things. Load up on fertilizer. I'll change the seed over after I load it with seed. Okay. Let's just shut him down and get the other one going first, and then I'll troubleshoot that. Okay, let's go to here. Field 57. Star a cedar. Load course. Activate. Check the eyeball. Make sure that looks correct. Start at the first waypoint. And hopefully this one won't have any difficulty. Good thing we're planting grass over here, too. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, so I don't know what to do about this other guy. Um, maybe we need to do an up and down course for it. I guess the first thing we could do is... Um, we could try and regenerate the course on this tractor and see if it does any, makes any difference. Um. Yeah, it does not like to turn sharply. I love the speed of this thing, man. Does our other tractor go night or 11 miles an hour too? Maybe it does. Probably does. Oh, sorry. Don't drive over the neighbor's crops. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to generate a new course with this tractor and I don't know maybe course play will take that into account it probably doesn't but we're gonna try it so at least we can say that we tried it so let's clear that um I'm not even gonna save this course I'm just going to try it first to see if it'll actually even work so I don't know maybe six headlands headland corners smooth sharp oh yeah we had that on smooth I wonder if round would make a difference Maybe that's what we need to do to get this to work. Okay, so let's generate this course. Um, no, generate this course. Okay. Yeah, see, that's that'll probably work better. And it means I'm going to have to do a little bit more corner work. But as long as I can get this guy to do the bulk of the field, then... Um, we should be okay. We might even be able to go seven. Let's try seven. No, actually, hold on. Now that I think about this, we, I mean, this, these might be a little too sharp here, even, even though they are rounded. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Let's just try it and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to act, because I think this might actually work, I am going to save it. All right, so this is on field 68. We're going to save course. We're going to call this F68 Stara Cedar Round. Okay. I guess I, I must have ran out of or, or run out of um room there. Okay, now let's turn the eyeball thingy on. And it wants to start from there, but what I'm gonna actually do is have it start over here. Yeah, you cannot turn that thing very sharp. Okay, so we're going to set this to nearest waypoint. All right, let's just watch it for a bit and see. I think this is going to work. Again, it's going to leave some fairly decent sized corners that I'll have to clean up later, but that's not a big deal. We can do that. Okay, well, I think that's probably the solution for, for this tractor, then. It's not perfect, but as long as we can get uh, course play to, to run it for us, that's the main thing. I don't mind doing it a little bit, but I don't want to have to always do it as a thing. Okay, yep, this should work. Uh, let's check on you. Looks like you're doing good.
so all right so this guy only goes 10 miles an hour the other one does 11 interesting I mean close enough still still pretty fast very cool all right you guys well um I'm gonna get these fields seated and then the next thing we will need to do is um rolling we don't have to spray for weeds so yeah we'll just get them rolled and then <clears throat> when the grass germinates um which should be next month then we'll we'll run slurry over them too it did get uh, a little bit bound up right in the center but again uh that's that's fine what i might do though next time is i might try an up and down you know maybe i'll just have to do the headland myself uh just a one or two pass headland and then try up and down and see if that ultimately works a little bit better uh, but i got most of it done so it's not too bad i suppose oh i missed a little spot there but yeah it just does not want to turn even though visibly the track is not actually hitting the draw bar there it's the game thinks that it is so kind of weird so let's wrap this around here and I got to swing back around and get this little tiny spot that we missed. I love this big tractor though, man. It's <laughs> it's like it doesn't even it's like it's not even pulling anything behind it. It's just got so much power. Just takes a little bit of getting used to on the steering. So what we'll do is we'll get this corner here and then we could probably get the roller started. Well, now let's um let's get those other corners taken care of first or at least the one on the near side. And we'll also hit this too. Okay, I'll come back and get the centerpiece because the roller won't. He'll start on the outside. So we should be able to do this corner no problem because the AI was able to. It's a little tight right there, but not too bad. Yeah, unfortunately, this tractor doesn't come in a wheeled version. So tracks it is. We just have to learn how to work with it. I would have actually preferred a wheeled tractor anyways, but it's okay. Let's try the uh, AI, the base game AI. Oh, <laughs> we'll let him finish that strip. Okay, let's get to the roller. Oh, right there. This thing's so enormous you can't even lift it up. It doesn't have a raise mode. Am I gonna miss that tree? Yep. Okay, let's get it lined up here. All right, now uh, we want to go to field 70 or 68 and we want the soil rolling load course activate nearest waypoint uh, let's actually back it up a just tell it to start start at the beginning first waypoint there we go Okay, he should be able to handle this no problem. And we are finished with this tractor and cedar. What do we have left in here? 
52% fertilizer, 15% seed. Okay. Let's get this folded up and back to the ranch. How much would it cost me to lease another roller just temporarily? Just so I can get that going right away. Uh, whoops, wrong menu. We want to go to here. And rollers and this roller and lease. 7,000 bucks. Mm. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. This roller's so big that it doesn't take that long to finish the rolling. Oh, how did we miss that spot? Well, we didn't. The AI did. For goodness sakes. All right. Here, let me get back over to the other fence real quick here. All right. Okay, I was finishing up the corners here. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though, actually. Let's get this one started on the next field, and then I'll, I'll bring the the other rig back over and finish up the corners on this field. Let's just grab these corners here. Okay, I think we start on that in that corner of the field but I don't remember for sure so let's go to field 56 field 56 oh did I not um did I not plant this field or maybe I did and I forgot to I forgot to set it. Or maybe it had oats on it when we originally bought it. I don't remember. Okay, well, let's get down to this corner then. Okay, so this is... 56. So we want to do a... Let's see, three headlands. Let's try five headlands and see what that does. Yeah, that looks reasonable enough. Okay, and then we will um, go to here. We'll go to 56. Save course. Activate. F56. Stara Cedar. Okay. And I'll back you up just a little bit more here. This has 31% grass, so it's going to be really close. I'll just have to keep an eye on it when it gets right to the end. Excellent. Okay. Let's get back to the big boy. And we have just have that one little spot there. That the AI missed. There we go. Okay, I'm going to fold this back up, go back to field 57, and finish those corners that were missed. And then after that, it's just basically rolling. Well, you know what? Maybe I will. I think I am going to rent a second roller. <laughs> the thing is, is the roller, it covers a huge swath, but it's also pretty slow. And, um,. It's gonna cost me over seven thousand bucks to do that though you know what though maybe we should not only do it but keep it and have a second roller we we're big enough now to where you know and especially once we buy field 70 over there yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna lease it and keep it and we'll have two of those we're gonna need two of those as time goes on because we're just getting larger and larger so that is the plan all right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And then I will finish uh, the planting and the rolling of these fields. The next thing we'll, that will have to happen in October is we'll have to spread some slurry or digestate on them for the second fertilizer application. And then in November, we're going to have 
an enormous hay cutting because we'll have our fourth hay cutting on our existing fields and then we've added these three huge fields to it so we're gonna have we're gonna have some significant um, hay which of course will translate to silage which of course will translate to big big money in January don't forget too we have a bunch of wood chips uh, to sell too you know and that's gonna also bring in uh, probably at least a hundred grand if not more uh, by itself so yeah January is gonna be some big money for us all right guys I'm gonna let you go here thank you very much for watching uh, remember what I said you know we are I, I am not done with this game um, it's just that these episodes are gonna be fewer and further between um, while we wrap up this series and then probably I'm gonna tentatively say sometime in February maybe March Hopefully, we will start Season 2 of Farming Simulator 22, and I have some fun stuff planned for that. And I have a map picked out, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so, I'm, I'm not going to promise we'll start it in February or March, but we'll try, we'll try to see if we can get there. Okay? So, with that being said, again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.